Oh, it's long. And it's got a lot of words. Blog date, March 21st, 2075. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch 10011. 1011. A pan immunity virion, which has been renamed FEV for forced evolutionary virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure rather than its main effects of replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experiments with single celled organisms is a great success. Experiments is. While their basal metabolism appears unchanged, their immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum Coroplasts seem unaffected by the virion. Further experiments on plant cells have been cancelled by order of Major Barnett. Log date May 9th, 2075. We infected several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worms had increased in size by 28%, and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed to continue for several generations, and the new DNA structure was successfully passed on to worms' progeny. Although only asexual production was noticed in the samples, experiments with insects have had less success. Major Barnett has postponed these experiments until further notice. Log date, June 30th, 2075. Several lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully infected successfully with FEV. Again, an increase in size is noted within hours, and after nine days, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger than the control group. Dissection revealed the most increase in size in striated muscle tissue and certain internal organs, such as the liver, heart, and kidneys. In a surprising finding, the infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be confirmed. Needed to confirm this finding is significant. Log date, November 9, 2075, we infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subjects were implanted with electrodes to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electrical activity in the brain was noted in 3.2 seconds after injection. Again, oh. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and profusion yielded brain tissue that showed increased dendritic connection, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. Log date January 12, 2076. With batch 1011, we have improved the mitotic cycle efficiency by 43%. We have infected 53 raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral tests confirmed an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler cap index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Barnett ordered... Major Barnett, who was a different guy apparently, ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. Log date, May 13, 2076. They have spliced several new gene sequences supplied by Major Barnett's advisory team. Well, I guess he's back. Into FEV with batch 10-101A, we infected 23 dogs of both pure and mixed breed and all experienced nearly immediate growth. The larger size was accompanied with increased aggressiveness, also known as aggression, while no significant intelligence increase was noted. We plan to attempt crossover of 92 allele pairs with batch 1011. 1111. 11011. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. Log date October 4th, 2076. The crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce ca induce cancers in the subjects through radiological and chemical agents have not were not successful. Increased aggressiveness have led to isolating the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic epileptic seizures and died. All remaining subjects terminated. Log date January 7th, 2077. Major Barnett has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this. I would like it noted that research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or my staff. Delta experiment tape. Oh, good, this one's short. The military has deemed it necessary for research further in depth the effects of wave, techn wave technology. 
We have taken light and sound as the basis of our studies. By manipulating the amplitude of the light waves and magnifying the frequency, we have been able to get lasers which will cut through a few feet of, st a few feet of steel. Unfortunately, the power to do such a task has not been fully developed. Well, then how do you know that they're going to cut through if you can't... Never mind. You know, the scientists looking into this. Fine! Hey, Cabot! Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Hell yeah, I did! Wait. But, uh, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. No, I don't want to. I'm taking my holidays and going great. home. Hang on while I open the door. You get 2,000 experience points for becoming an initiate. Sweet. Hey, good day. Well, hello. What can I help you with? Ask you a few questions. Heard any good rumors lately? Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. Why? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the High Elder arguing with the other elders. Oh. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, good. Let's go in. Reap our new experience points. Cool! It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Now we can get some even more betterer swag. You see Michael. What do you do for our Brotherhood? Nothing quite as glorious as our paladins. I just run the supply room, checking equipment in, I like to take something out. How do I do that? You need to have proper authorization. Who can give me authorization? Talos is the person you should probably talk to. We might also want to check with Mathia. Where can I find Mathia? Mathia is Maxon's assistant. She's technically the High Elder's assistant, but she works with all the other elders. She's normally in the elders' room on the fourth floor. Where's Talos? He's in the training room to my left. So, of special interest in the training room, you can stand around here and watch these guys punch each other, and you will actually gain... whoops. <laughs> you will gain, um, points for, uh, unarmed and melee combat. I got distracted by him falling in slow motion. Okay, okay, children. In close combat, the technique you use depends on... Uh, well, I'm not even going to read this. He's going too fast. Read it your damn self. I've been talking for six hours now. Pow. Biff. Bam. Do not overextend. That's what she said. Oh, you gain one skill points in unarmed combat. See? Down over here. One little shove will land you right on your ass. Oh, the doggy is sneezing. And when we're done, eventually we will gain actual experience points. I'm just fooling with ya. Any second now. Oops. Thank you, Brother Thomas. He also tried to use my weight and bulkiness against me. 
Yay, 500 experience points. And... Unarmed and melee are kind of better. Let's talk to Talus. Hello, stranger. I heard you're the one to thank for the safe return of my missing initiate. Yeah, it took like 80 tries. Oh, give me the power armor. Power armor. I gained 1,500 experience points for rescuing the initiate. Who cares about that? I got power armor. I have something to pick up. It's goddamn power armor. Give it to me. Check this shit out. Ta-da! Now I am the ultimate badass. State of the badass art. That's the real reason for going to the Brotherhood. But there's some other interesting things that happen too. Also of note, the power armor will increase your strength by three points. I went from five to eight. Proves my carry weight. Very good stuff. There's Rhombus. He's kind of a dick. So let's go check out the rest of this base. There's some other interesting things we can do there. We can talk to Vree and get some important plot information. Talk to Maxon and something and something. See a scribe. Uh, see an instructor. Hello. Can I use a computer? Can I use the science on the computer? You fail to learn anything. Okay. You see the Brotherhood's doctor. Hello. I am radiated. Radiation is very dangerous. You should be more careful than- Why the hell did you send me to the glow? I hope the foam didn't irritate your skin. Do you do operations? But of course, but it's very costly and time-consuming. The details can make you stronger, more perceptive, increase your endurance, help improve your learning process, and increase your dexterity. I can only do each operation once. So here's the other reason that I've been saving the caps. Because you need those to pay for the various operations that increases your stats, which I am going to do. She gazes you and you slowly slip away. How you feeling? You're quite a talkative person in your sleep. Ah, oh, I'm naked! My beautiful power armor fell off. So, now my strength is up to nine. I'm injured. Perception. 4,000 scripts. Up with the old and in with the new. You drop like a rock into an abyss. Okay. You look exactly the same, but how do you feel? All of your senses feel much sharper. You're taking up valuable bed space. Perception of 10. Uh, I don't know the operations. How about endurance? It's about a week and will cost 3,000 scripts. I'll do it. I hope you have a heart. And insurance. You look a little bulkier. Let me know if there are any problems. I've increased by a few hit points. One of the other things that you can easily lose track of is time because these all these procedures take time. It'll take three weeks and cost 6,000 scripts. Where is the brain again? What's this thing supposed to do? So you can use up a lot of time if you're not careful, but fortunately we have lots of time to screw around. It looks like all back in and everything's running great. It's as if the pathways of your thoughts have direct links to everywhere in your head. And your memories are much crisper. Take it easy. So! We can't increase our agility because it's already maxed out. But now we have all kinds of nice extra things. More importantly, endurance will hasn't increased my healing rate, but it will increase the number of hit points I get next time I level up. Which is important because hit points are necessary to not die. You see Jerry, a young initiate. 